we're doing this for the betterment of the community. Both Police Chief Justin Ivins and Fire Chief Eric Thompson are looking to improve the level of service their agencies provide. They say that conversation starts with increasing the number of staff for each department. When you have to start cutting from other areas, say your detectives division um, or your school resource program or whatever it may be, in order to meet minimum staffing levels at patrol, you really start running into morale issues with your staff. It's, you know, it's staffing for the fire engines, it's staffing for medical squads, and it's staffing uh, for community risk officers. Chiefs Ivins and Thompson are confident that if the city council votes to accept their recommendations this month, the community will see tangible benefits. Ivins is looking to expand MPD's livability team, and Thompson says their proposal will allow the fire department to decrease wait times. They're going to notice uh, EMS squads on, on the street. Um, they'll see um, a greater availability of their fire resources. Uh, they're going to see more flexibility in our fire staff. And so With additional staffing, what that will allow us to do is have a little bit more uh, time to be uh, proactive when it comes to uh, investigating crimes versus being reactive all the time. But their plans will come at an increased cost to Medford residents. Each proposal includes an increase in the public safety utility fee, which is currently $9.42. The fee was raised from $7.42 in 2019 to fund five positions for the livability team. The city says if both proposed plans are approved, residents could see their monthly fee go up as high as nearly $2 a month, though the council could make changes to the plans. The chiefs understand increases may not be popular, but they feel it's necessary. There was a, a, a year-long process and, and a, lot of, a lot of hard work that went into this. And, and the and goal so is that we want to be able to continue to provide professional, um, excellent service to our community.